Moonshot, favorite book. Good morning, Patrick. It's Tuesday. So I came across an article recently discussing the legality of human cloning. And I think legalizing human cloning is a terrible idea. Cloning would be the dumbest thing ever. Can you imagine having an exact copy of yourself? Even though twins can be identical, they're still considered two different people, whereas cloning can result in two exact copies of the same person. Your clone can do a lot of damage in your name. Would you like that? Dude, what are you doing? Nothing, bro. Yo, 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 don't come for that paper, bro. You say, put it down. Bad girl, dude, put it down. No, 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 no! Why would you throw that? Alright, who did that? Yo, it was him, it wasn't no. me. Dude, that's no, BS, no, it me, dude. So. He threw it, not me. My clone would not do that! Tam, cloning would be a great idea. It would benefit society, and that's why I think it should be legalized. Emotions, actions, are all controlled by the clone himself from his own unique personality. Besides, having a clone would just be super awesome. Don't you think? Tom! Tom! Yeah, can you have me something to eat? Here you go, Tam. Can you get me something to drink too? Here's your water. Can you change the channel really quick? All right. Oh yeah, that would definitely solve a lot of problems. Having a clone around for that would be great. Bro, that's what I'm saying! Anyway, let me start out with this. According to this credible source right here, there's approximately three meters of DNA in each human cell. That being said, an entire human body has... Dude, bacon strip don't trip! I could run that easy! I could run the whole length of the human genome. Easy! PZ lemon squeeze. Um, no you can't. You ain't ready for this, Tam. I'm gonna run three genomes just to embarrass you. How far was that? How far was that, dude? How far, how far? The human genome has approximately 3 billion base pairs, stretching out to approximately 12 billion miles. You ran two laps, that's half a mile. You have 11,999,998 and a half miles to go. I'm never running again, ever. Uh -huh. Mm. The point I'm trying to make across is that it'd be extremely easy to make a mistake. According to this source right here, the definition of a mutation is a permanent change in DNA sequence. Remember when we took AP Bio in high school? Remember that fat textbook we had to deal with? You should remember that proteins are expressed. You should remember that proteins are expressed by RNA, which uses DNA as a template. When that template changes, so does the RNA, and when the RNA changes, the protein expressed will be different. So that clone might not look like you after we're through with it. Within 3 billion base pairs, we are bound to make a mistake somewhere. So we shouldn't be playing God and produce a possibly disabled clone that will never be able to live a normal life. But we've already done it. According to this case study in this reliable source, Dolly the sheep was cloned about 17 years ago. Turns out humans don't have to keep track of the 3 billion base pairs that you just won't seem to shut up about. Dolly was born using a nuclear transfer. 
It took an utter cell that has been modified and injecting it into an unfertilized egg. And that unfertilized egg had its nucleus removed. All the genetic material was included. That means that the clone is very likely to not inherit any disabilities. That nuclear transfer you're talking about took 227 attempts. And even after it was successful, Dolly was euthanized after six years. A sheep's life expectancy is about 10 to 12 years, so it only lived up to half of its life expectancy. And on top of that, during the six years that it lived, the short six years, it had arthritis and lung cancer. Are you telling me that those debilitating conditions aren't caused by the mistake of cloning? I'm about to make it ethical up in here. Anyway, reproductive cloning isn't the only cloning there is. Therapeutic cloning is more than just a research opportunity. Did you know that 18 people die every day because they can't get an organ transplant? That's 6,750 people a year. Cloning can solve that problem. Therapeutic cloning could actually be used to regrow organs and help people that need transplants. It could generate skin for a burn victim. It could create nerve cells for a person with brain damage. It wouldn't even become an actual clone. The embryo itself would be removed, but the stem cells would be harvested. All the steps for therapeutic cloning is pretty much the same thing as reproductive cloning. However, for therapeutic cloning, pregnancy isn't carried out. The surrogate mother would not have to birth a child. The stem cells used could actually save lives. That is basically abortion. Taking out an embryo to harvest its stem cells? The abortion people would go crazy. This is a whole other issue itself. We're basically talking about the ethics of abortion now. Even though the embryo is a clone, and that e also that I agree that we should do this, that we should harvest stem cells from them, it's just not possible in our generation. Therapeutic cloning doesn't actually sound like a bad idea all in itself. I'm still against reproductive cloning, but therapeutic cloning, it doesn't sound that bad. The real issue is the fact that they have to clone an embryo and then abort it later. Now that I think about it, if a person has preserved their umbilical cord, they could use it to harvest their own stem cells and regrow their own organs that way. They wouldn't have to go as far as to fertilize an egg and take out an embryo to get the stem cells that way. But the likelihood that people have kept their umbilical cords is pretty low. I'd like to propose a few alternatives. I like where you're going with the therapeutic cloning, but going as far as fertilizing an embryo and then aborting it later, we should make it a uniform practice to preserve our own umbilical cords so that we have a source of stem cells all for our own. Tam, I agree with you. I think that's a great idea. I think we should build on it and raise awareness for people to preserve their own umbilical cords. It could be a ready source of stem cells for anybody that needs a transplant. Do you believe that people think it's weird if you keep your umbilical cord? Or do you think it's gonna be fine? It wouldn't be weird. We would make it the normal thing to do. Still have mine. Ew, oh, oh god, that slipped. Oh my god. According to this source, stem cells have been used to cure over 80 blood disorders, and those stem cells came from umbilical cords. In a sense, there are people already out there implementing this idea. What I'm saying is that we should take it further and create actual organs, too. I'm saying we should grow full-out organs using the stem cells from the umbilical cords, eliminate the need for the surrogate mother, which would shut up the abortion hippies, and we'll be good. Finally, something we can agree on. We should definitely promote the use of umbilical cords as the new source of stem cells instead of using therapeutic cloning. Do you feel like getting breakfast? Sure. I'll be there in two seconds. Yeah. Cereal? I love cereal. Let's go. All the genetic material, including, oh, shit. You said all the genetic, anyway, so just do that again, just do it again. Wait. Can you read it? All the genetic material, <laughs> Just go, just go. All the genetic material included was taken out. What the fuck does that mean? All Cause look, it says taken in an utter cell, blah, 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 and then all the genetic material, I fucked up, so just I just. say all the genetic material. All right, okay, 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 okay. All the genetic material included was taken out. I mean, and f just all this, all the genetic. Material. All the gen. Okay. All the genetic material was taken out. What the f? All the genetic material was included. Ah, f.
Hello? Patrick. Damn. Get off No! And raise awareness for people to keep their own umbilical cords. Umbilical cords? Um. Now stay where you are until you get it. We'll close that door so there's no extra noise. Don't tell me those aren't the debilitating could ah, balls. That's a hard one. You always say balls. Why don't you just say f or shit like a normal person? Still have mine. And then I shift and I pretend it's like slippery. No, don't shift. You don't have to shift. Or do you shift? Yeah. Alright, shift. And be like, how do you want me to do it? Like, oh, oh, oh. And you can like throw it and I'll catch it on the plate. Oh god, it's gross. It's all slip. Uh, oh god. Think slippery. Butterfly, a butterfly, a b b b b butterfly.